Are you tired of where you live? Maybe you're even part of the 38% of Americans who are so fed up with the US that they're considering moving to another country. Or heck, maybe you're just done with Earth. In which case, I hear Elon's gonna send people to Mars by the end of the decade. But why in the galaxy would you wanna live on Mars? I mean, it's cold, dark, and makes the Sahara Desert seem hospitable. But from here to there, aren't some of the best countries also cold and dark? Well, sure, some are. But they're also home to gorgeous, unique landscapes and incredibly high qualities of life. So with nearly the entire world now open to visitors, 2023 is as good a time as any to live abroad. Trust me, it will change your life. These are the top 10 best countries to live in for 2023. And if you want me to rank all 195 countries from worst to best, let's hit 10,000 likes. Number 10. Japan. Wait, that's not Tokyo! Those look like medieval European buildings! Okay, I'll be honest, it was so hard to narrow this list down to just 10 that I couldn't. So we're starting off with an honorable mention, the Czech Republic. You've probably heard of Prague being a bucket list travel destination for its incredible beer, famous cafes, friendly residents, unique architecture, and beautiful history and culture. But the Czech Republic, with its picturesque towns and over 2,000 castles and palaces, isn't just a great place to visit. It also offers an incredibly high quality of life. It's the 8th safest country, the unemployment rate is just 2.4%, and despite having some of the lowest taxes in the EU, the healthcare is among the best in the world and free for all EU residents. And the top-notch universities are free for everyone. No wonder there's nearly 700,000 expats. And while the economy certainly isn't the biggest, it is growing fast with the GDP per capita increasing from just $38,000 in 2020 to 49000 today. Plus, since it's one of the cheapest countries in Europe, the poverty rate is just 5.6%, which is the second lowest of any nation. Actual number 10. Japan. With nearly 125 million residents spread across 421 inhabited islands and so many different ways of life from the bamboo forests and historic temples of Kyoto to the snow-capped volcanoes, cherry blossom trees, and idyllic mountain villages to the tropical beaches of Okinawa and the largest city in the world in Tokyo, you might expect Japan to struggle keeping things organized. Not only is this gorgeous country home to some of the cleanest and safest cities, however, it's also one of the most technologically advanced nations with the the best rail system, insanely quick internet, over 5 million vending machines, and even heated toilet seats. A big reason for this is the country's emphasis on educating the youth to not just do the bare minimum, but rather constantly innovate and problem solve. In fact, Japan's schooling system is the second best of any country and the most equal in terms of poor and rich students receiving similar quality of education. But while this is great for the economy, which is the third largest of any nation with a GDP of 4.41 trillion, an unemployment rate of just 2.6%, and so many cutting-edge companies, it also means the Japanese are overworked and don't have time to focus on other aspects of life, like dating or raising a family. This has led to a large elderly population, with the death rate being nearly double the birth rate. But hey, at least if you live here, you'll live a long time, as the life expectancy of 85 years is the highest on Earth. Number 9 the Netherlands. It's a miracle that the Netherlands even exists. With 26% of its area located below sea level and nearly 50% of its population living below sea level. In fact, if it weren't for the ingenuity of the country's many dikes, dunes, canals, and pumps, 65% of the country would be underwater at high tide. The fact that it's also one of the 10 best countries just proves the Dutch are overachievers. But they aren't overworked. The Netherlands has the shortest average work week at just 30.3 hours to go along with 29 paid vacation days. But despite, or perhaps because they don't work as much, the Dutch are more productive with the time they do work, leading to a GDP per capita of 70 grand. And sure, taxes are quite high, but the residents don't stress spending more since they know the money is being put to good use. The schools are fantastic, the hybrid public-private healthcare system where insurance companies are required to accept everyone on the same premium is highly ranked, and the pension plan is the second best on earth. Plus, the Netherlands still has the second highest net after-tax income of any country at $53,100. And with nearly no unemployment or crime, a non-judgmental progressive culture, and charming unique cities such as Amsterdam, it's no surprise the Dutch are the ninth happiest populace. Although outside of the tulip fields in the spring, the Netherlands certainly isn't winning any most beautiful country awards. Number 8. Finland. 
While the Dutch are very happy people, Finland has been the happiest country for seven years running. And its capital, Helsinki, is the happiest city. And it's not just because Finns drink way more coffee than any other nation. Although, with how cold and dark it can get, I don't blame them. The Lapland region is also one of the best places to view the Northern Lights, however, and with the cleanest air and water quality on Earth and 31 fully paid vacation days to enjoy the gorgeous untouched forests, rivers, and lakes which make up 85% of the country, there's not much to complain about. Especially since the government is the least corrupt of any nation and ensures a high quality of life for its citizens. Starting with the number one ranked schooling system where testing doesn't exist, teachers preach cooperation over competition, and students can learn in whichever way is best suited for them. University and trade school are also free for everyone, and with the third lowest poverty rate of just 5.7%, hardly any crime or traffic, top-notch practically free healthcare, the best parental leave policy with 14 months of fully paid time off, and the highest level of food security in the world, the most difficult thing about living in Finland would be learning Finnish, which is actually completely unrelated from the other Nordic languages, and one of the hardest in the world to learn. Number 7. Canada. One third of both Finland and Canada lie north of the Arctic Circle, and thus experience both the polar night and frigid temperatures. Canada is 30 times the size of Finland, however, meaning you could fit 10 Finlands just in the Canadian Arctic, yet less than 20,000 people live in that entire region. Why am I mentioning this? To put into perspective just how cold and uninhabited most of Canada is. Although if you love wildlife and vast breathtaking landscapes, Canada's beautiful. 90% of Canadians do live within 150 miles of the US border for a reason though. And even those parts still get really cold. So it must offer a pretty darn high quality of life to still be attracting so many highly educated immigrants with an annual growth rate of nearly 1.8% each year. And well, yeah, it had the third highest highest overall quality of life in 2022, in large part because of those immigrants. In fact, Canada is both the most multicultural and educated nation, with 23% of the population being born in another country and 60% holding a post-secondary degree. And it was just ranked as the best country for both immigrants and students. This has led to one of the most diverse economies, with the seventh highest average annual wage of $55,400, which, combined with a strong social safety net, has resulted in an incredible incredibly low poverty rate of just 8.6%. Add in the fact that it's the fourth safest country and has good relations with pretty much every other country, and it's no wonder Canadians are so friendly. Number six, Iceland. Let me just say, Iceland is the most magical place I have ever visited. From stunning fjords to mossy canyons, black sand beaches, a glacier lagoon, and a plethora of volcanoes, hot springs, geysers, and waterfalls, the island, which is slowly being pulled apart as it sits on both the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, is the most otherworldly place on Earth. The fact that it offers such a high quality of life, too, is just the icing on the cake. Not only is Iceland home to the lowest poverty rate of just 4.9% and second highest average income of nearly 68 grand, it's also the best country for equality in the workforce, offers 12 months of paid family leave, at least 24 days paid vacation time, the number one retirement pension plan, great quality universal healthcare, and free university. The reason Iceland can afford to do this is because it's a proud pacifist nation with no military and their non-corrupt government doesn't take any more money than it needs. For example, the Hafjallfjordjur tunnel had a toll for 20 years. But once the cost of the tunnel was fully paid off in 2018, it became free to travel through. Add in a close-knit community where most residents feel like they have a fellow citizen to count on if times get tough, and it should come as no surprise that Icelanders are the third happiest residents. But while Iceland has been the safest nation for the past 14 years, with Reykjavik being the safest city, it isn't exactly safe safe for your skin or mental health if you can't stand the cold or dark. Our next country, however, is about to warm things up. Number five, Australia. Yay, finally somewhere warm! Oh wait, no, it's too warm! Ah, I'm burning! Okay, obviously that was an exaggeration, and as long as you're not sunbathing in Unadada and actually stick to the coast, it shouldn't be that hot. But speaking of the coast, Australia is technically the largest island, and thus features 34,000 kilometers of pristine coastline, including many of the most picturesque beaches on Earth. 
And with half of its 26 million residents living in the three largest cities, this largely untamed continent is home to so many breathtaking landscapes with 685 national parks, many of which you can get all to yourself. There's a reason 90% of Australians live in urban areas which take up just 0.22% of the country's landmass, however. Because they're some of the best cities in the world with thriving economies. Australia has the 8th highest average annual salary, the highest minimum wage, a mere 3.4% unemployment rate, and a $1.725 trillion GDP which continues to grow by 11% each year. In large part due to the abundance of highly educated immigrants. And even if they weren't educated, it wouldn't be much of a problem since Australia also has some of the best schools and universities. Because of this and more lax immigration laws, Australia is the second most multicultural country with 43% of the population being first or second generation immigrants. This high quality of life combined with beautiful weather and one of the most efficient healthcare systems has led Australians to be the fourth happiest populace with the second highest life expectancy of 84.5 years. Number 4. Norway. This is Norway. Need I say more? Alright, I'm joking, but every inch of this long, narrow, mountainous country with some of the most beautiful fjords and archipelagos is jaw-dropping. And I don't just mean Norway's 47 national parks, which remain remarkably clean due to most not allowing any cars. No, from Bergen to Alison Christensen Oslo in the Lofoten Islands, Norway houses so many charming waterfront cities and towns with a unique mix of both old and new that blends seamlessly with the natural environment. And Norway's minimalistic yet complex architecture, which might seem like a contradiction, is a metaphor for the country. Less is more. Because despite Norwegians having the third shortest average work week at 34 hours and 31 paid vacation days, the economy is excellent with the sixth highest GDP per capita at 78 grand. Now to be fair, a big chunk of Norway's wealth comes from exporting petroleum and gas, but Norway itself is very eco-friendly, and since the government is the fourth least corrupt, any surplus profit is invested back into the government pension fund, which then directly funds Norway's wonderful social safety nets. 7.6% of the GDP is spent on educating the youth, and Norway is home to the fourth best healthcare system and a highly successful qualification program, which gives higher income support to unemployed people as long as they're training or learning new skills full-time. So, despite Norway being the fifth most expensive country, it also has the tenth lowest poverty rate at just 8.4%. And since the only real danger here is the high winds of Pulpit Rock or one of the many other beautiful cliffs, it's not hard to see why Norwegians are so happy. Number 3. Ireland. Ireland's new to the list, and it's already in the top three? Well, if you've been sleeping on it, wake up, because the Emerald Isle is having a moment. It's the third safest country, has excellent schools and healthcare, and is home to the fourth lowest poverty rate due to its booming economy. The Irish are the second most educated populace, with 53% of residents holding a post-secondary degree, which, combined with its very friendly tax code compared to most other EU countries, has led many large US companies, such as Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, and Google to place their EU headquarters here. This has created an outstanding job market with the third highest GDP per capita at 131 grand and makes Ireland the best country for Americans to move to based on ease of transition. In fact, Dublin is one of the only airports outside of North America which has pre-clearance for US passengers. Okay, fine, maybe you can make a lot of money in Ireland, but other than that, it's just potatoes and alcoholics. Boring! Well, sure, there are potatoes and the people do drink a lot, but Ireland's lush green rolling hills also produce the freshest produce in the world, and the locals know how to have fun or crack, as they call it. From St. Paddy's Day parades to world-class surfing golf to incredible music, historic castles, and stunning winding roads along seaside cliffs, it's no wonder the Irish are some of the warmest, funniest, and most welcoming residents you will ever meet. Number two. Denmark. The Danish language might have no word for please, but it doesn't need one because everyone is so darn nice. And why wouldn't they be when they're the second happiest country? In large part due to valuing human connection and socializing over work and money. In fact, Denmark has the second shortest average work week at just 33.7 hours, and 96% of Danes report having friends or relatives that they can count on in times of trouble. 
But considering that Denmark is also the second safest country with the best healthcare system, second best work-life balance, third lowest poverty rate, fourth best schooling system, and fifth highest average annual wage at $58,400, trouble seldom occurs. Yes, taxes can get high, with the top bracket paying 52%. But since Danes are highly educated and very politically active, with an 84.6% voter turnout, their government, which is tied for the least corrupt of any nation, actually serves its residents residents, unlike some countries. <clears throat> the US. Sure, it might be the least beautiful of the Nordic countries, but it's much warmer, you're never more than 50 kilometers from a beach, and Copenhagen is often ranked as the most livable city on earth. Now before we get to number one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I also wanted to give another quick honorable mention to Hong Kong, because if it were recognized as a country, it would certainly make this list. Despite being a small, beautiful island city, Hong Kong has managed to perfectly implement the best of both Eastern and Western society to become one of the most advanced, culturally diverse, and modern cities in the world with the highest life expectancy and overall quality of life. Plus, the economy is incredible. And before you ask, what about the US? America's the best country ever! Yes, the US does excel in many categories, with by far the best economy and highest average income. But there's also a huge division of wealth, leading to one of the highest poverty rates among developed nations. But without further ado... Number 1. Switzerland. In this world, you get what you pay for. And yes, the most expensive country is also the best. Because outside of the ridiculous cost of living, there isn't anything Switzerland does wrong. It's incredibly safe, has a remarkable public transit network, the healthcare and universities are superb, taxes are low, and there are even elements of direct democracy in some of the cantons Switzerland is split up in, with residents voting directly on policies ranging from how many vacation days they get to immigration. And when you consider that it's got the third highest life expectancy of 84 years, and by far the highest average after-tax net income at $69,400, which is 25% higher than the next country, it should come as no surprise that Switzerland has the highest quality of life on earth and is the best country to live in for 2023. Especially since you're surrounded by views like this.